good morning friends once more welcome back to the collective structure of nuclear models so today we will discuss the nuclear rotations effects in last few classes we found that several properties could explained using the shell model but some of the properties especially the excited states of the even even nuclei and few noted properties could not explain using the shell model hence we in reduced the collective model the collective motion of the nucleus so we already mentioned that there can be two types of collective motions one the nuclear vibrations and second one the nuclear rotations in the last class we discussed the nuclear nuclear vibrational effects and here we will discuss the nuclear rotational effects on the nuclear energy levels and nuclear uh, properties so the rotational effect of nuclei are observed prominently observed for the nucleus with atomic mass uh, in between the 150 and 190 and for with greater than 220 so this kind of heavier nuclei uh, shows this rotational effects so they are the nuclei with non spherical equilibrium shapes and are often called the deformed nuclei due to their heavier structure they deform uh, to a non spherical shape so we have noticed several specialities for this region for this region of this 150 190 and uh, with a greater than 220 we already mentioned several in uh, all kinds of nuclear properties there were some specialities for these regions so generally the nuclear rotations are represented as an ellipsoid of revolution an ellipsoid of revolution with a surface this r theta phi is equal to r average into 1 plus beta times this y theta phi okay with this average is the average a uh, nuclear radius with r0 into a to the power 1 by 3 as generally we consider and this beta is the deformation parameter this deformation parameter and is equal to 4 by 3 root pi by 5 delta r by r average where this delta r is again the difference between the semi major axis and semi minor axis of an elliptical shape okay when beta is greater than 0 it represents a prolate shape like this one and when this beta is less than 0 it represents an oblate shape okay one indicator of such stable deformation is the large electrical quadrupole moment so and it is given by the electric quadrupole moment of such deformed nucleus given by q0 is equal to 3 by root 5 pi r square z into beta 1 plus 0.16 beta this q0 is the electric quadrupole moment observed at the rest prime if the nucleus is rest or uh, if we are with that prime what we observe that is this value and this is known as the intrinsic quadrupole moment the observed one will be a totally different from this uh, intrinsic quadrupole moment so in lab frame means in uh, in our own frame a different quadrupole moment will be observed and this depends on the angular momentum for the two plus states this is uh, q is equal to minus 2 by 7 q0 so in the region of permanent deformation means in this region this 150 to 190 uh, atomic mass region Uh, this q this electric quadrupole moment is observed as minus 2b 
minus 2 bar so using this equation this q is equal to minus 2 by 7 q 0 this equation we can calculate this q 0 as plus 7 b so since this q 0 is plus 7 b we can calculate we can deduce this deformation parameter beta and this is obtained as 0 0.29 0 0.29 means a substantial deviation from the spherical shape of the nucleus okay and the kinetic energy of the rotating nucleus will be this it's rho squared by this kind of i into i by i plus 1 divided by 2i where this i represents the moment of inertia and this i represents the angular momentum quantum number and this is really equal to this j square by 2i where j represents the angular momentum and uh, this rotational energy gets added into the nuclear energy the already uh, having energy and the excited states form a band of energy a band of energy called the rotational band for even even nucleus the ground state is zero plus we already know that always it is zero plus and the mirror symmetry restricts the rotational states with even i value so for a ground state of even even nuclei with zero plus if this nuclei having a rotational effect or rotational uh, states then it is having an additional energy with this rotational energy with this rotational energy so uh, all rotational energies are not possible by the mirror symmetry it is restricted as uh, with even values with even i values that is this uh, this ground state is zero we know if this is zero then the first excited state the e of 2 plus is 6 times it's close by 2i and the 4 plus will be 20 times close by 2i and this using this equation using this one i is equal to 1 i is equal to sorry i is equal to 0 i is equal to 2 i is equal to 4 etc where the odd values of i are not possible by the mirror symmetry so these are the possible rotational energy levels above the ground states now we will see two important evidences supporting this rotational effects of the nucleus see uh, for the erbium uh, nucleus the excited states are observed like this excited states uh, resulting from the rotational of ground state is observed like this 0 plus and 2 plus is 91.4 kilo ev energy and like this this is observed like this so from the first excited state means from this 2 plus excited 2 plus excited states this one we can calculate this it's it's rho square by 2i value using the equation since this is the observed value so this is calculated that this it's rho square by 2i is equivalent to 15.2 kev so using this value we can cal calculate the higher excited states e of 4 plus the energy of 6 plus and energy of 8 plus and substituting the i values using those equations we will get these equations here substituting again this it's rho square by 2i value this is obtained as 305 kev and the energy of 6 plus is obtained as 640 kev and the energy of 8 plus is obtained as 1097 kev like that so the observed values you can see that using this first excited state we predicted the next excited state so the, the 4 plus excited state is with energy the measured energy is 300 kV so the predicted one is 305 so very 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 nearly and the 6 plus excited states observed is with is observed with 614 kV and this is really uh, the predicted value is 640 kV and the measured value of the 8 plus is 1024 and this predicted one is 1097 so almost 
uh, very near to the predicted values. So this is one of the evidence supporting these rotational effects and this kind of rotational levels. So second one is the predicted ratio of the energy of 4 plus t to the energy of 2 plus t. So using this rotational energy model, it is calculated, it is predicted as 3.3. 3.33 so you can see this was the experimental results of the uh, even even nuclei this energy of 4 plus to the energy of 2 plus so at this region using this uh, atomic mass region 150 to 190 and greater than this 230 region you can notice this is very near to the 3.3 so it almost perfectly matches with the predicted ratio of 3.33. So this is the second evidence supporting this rotational uh, levels or rotational effects over the nucleus. Okay, thank you.